Good evening. They're stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of items, and they used to get a slap on the wrist. Now, serial shoplifters are feeling the bite of police and of prosecutors. News for Teams' Gabe Chavez shows us what businesses are doing to protect themselves and how that is helping police. What we knew as shoplifting is no longer the case. Uh, these new shoplifters are violent. Police are cracking down on shoplifters with multiple arrests this last month, like Isaiah Martinez, who was accused of stealing $53,000 worth of sunglasses from Sunglass Hut. We've had 15 felony arrests and seven misdemeanor arrests, but I think the number to really take a look at is over $100,000 in merchandise has been recovered. But the goal is to keep the criminals behind bars and charge them harsher than before. Because we're targeting the worst of the worst, um, we are finding uh, and building other criminal cases. But the number of cases is still growing despite the recent arrests. It's really hard to get your pulse exactly on shoplifting numbers because a lot of companies have policies where they don't even report them to police. And the thefts, more violent. The individual produces a firearm and either fire shots or threatens uh, individuals at the store. In an effort to protect stores, many are hiring armed guards with a limited use of force and install lock cop security camera towers to help get police officers off security duty and back on the streets to arrest criminals. There's nothing why I would love to have them work other types of overtime rather than, than standing at a retail store. Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. The Attorney General's office said this crackdown is on the more violent offenders and that they know who they are. I want to make sure that the general public understands we are not targeting petty shoplifting uh, or individuals who are shoplifting out of need. Uh, we are targeting organized retail criminals. The Attorney General says these operations are partnerships with big box stores like Home Depot and Target. Many stores are now keeping a log of the names and videos of repeat offenders.